Hello folks, this is the Prairie Fiddler coming to you from Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, Canada. Got an interesting one for you today. I acquired this bow along with an outfit that I purchased. Uh, it's, it's a pretty nice bow, not exactly a fine violin bow, but it's it's uh, pretty nice and it's just like new. Uh, K. Holtz is the is the brand name on the stick. So it's it's got a a lot of uh, residue of uh, of uh, rosin residue on the stick, and it's it's gummy, and it's really stuck on there. So I need to clean that off. And I came I came up with uh, several different things to try. And uh, of course, I don't want to damage the uh, the stick because it is you know virtually a brand new bow. So one of the one of the things that uh, that I thought I might try is, uh, and uh, I know before you cringe, before you <laughs> violin makers and uh, and luthiers cringe, I'm going to try this uh, citrus degreaser. Now I, I tried this on a, on another uh, bow, on an old bow that I had uh, that had very little value. It didn't damage the varnish at all. So so I'm going to try it on this one. Now. Again, I'm not a luthier, and uh, uh, this is not a recommendation to use a citrus degreaser on your violin or your violin bow. But uh, just for fun, I'm going to try it here. I don't think I can do any damage. Now, the second, the second product that I'm going to try is uh, called Super Nico or, or Nico. Not sure how that's pronounced, but uh, it's a, a cleaner. Uh, it says renovates all varnishes. Now, it's a violin cleaner. And polish that uh, I think a lot of violin luthiers use does a really nice job on violins shines them up uh, very nicely so I'm going to try that and I'm going to try <clears throat> the W.E. Hill and Sons varnish cleaner it says uh, I almost had to take a picture of this so I can enlarge it to read it but uh, it says um, what does it say uh, huh. Anyways, it uh, can't read it. It, uh, it it's supposed to be a, a cleaner. So, and the the fourth thing I'll try is just plain water. And then uh, when we're all done, maybe we'll clean the hair on the bow too, just for uh, for an exercise. So the first one, well, first of all, uh, I've taken a white pencil, and I've marked off sections on this bow, uh, just so that we can see where where we've used different products and uh, you won't be able to see that on the video but there's a there's a white mark here and a white mark there so we'll use the citrus degreaser here we'll use the nickel here and the we hill e hill here and then we'll use plain water uh, down towards where the frog is so the first thing thing we'll do is uh, release the frog here Get the hair out of the way so that it doesn't get damaged at all. So this uh, this citrus degreaser, I really like it for everything else. Like it's a wonderful cleaner, and it is uh, fairly innocuous. I guess uh, it doesn't harm <laughs> it doesn't harm too many things, uh, and it's not very toxic either. But what I'm going to do here, I'm going to spray it on this cloth fairly liberally, and then uh, we'll try it on the on the bow stick. Yeah, there's lots of different brands of that citrus degreaser, I think. So, I'll just uh, try that. Mm, that seems to have worked pretty good. Some more. Okay, there's the hill. Now I'll try just a little bit of water, just as a control here. Yeah. Get over the frog mounts here
Okay, so we've used all four products now. Uh, we can kind of assess. Uh, my marks have sort of disappeared, but I can still kind of see them. White pencil. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew they existed, eh? They're great for working with ebony and things like that. Easy to make a white mark on black wood. Okay, let's uh, assess what we've done here. So the citrus degreaser mm, kind of worked. You know, I guess uh, towards where I made the mark, I didn't want to uh, remove the mark. So uh, it, it was it was okay. It probably would do the job. Now the Nico, um, again, the Nico is not advertised as a cleaner. It's advertised as a renovator and polisher. I'm not sure what that means, but... Uh, and the W.E. Hill, uh, oh, the W.E. Hill stuff worked beautifully. Beautifully, I would say. And the plain water, mm, no, kind of worked, but it's still, it's still sticky. So I guess uh, from this little uh, unscientific and uncontrolled experiment, the winner right now so far is W.E. Hill and Sons uh, varnish cleaner and the second would be the citrus degreaser now the Nico yeah the Nico wasn't great but it is a great polish I have to tell you that uh, for, for polishing violins the water mm, sort of worked but not not really so uh, anyways I absolutely do not recommend that you use a citrus degreaser on your violin or your bow. <laughs> that was only for, uh, just for uh, interest's sake, just for uh, shits and giggles, I guess, as they say. So, as I said, I thought uh, I thought we would maybe clean the hair on this. Like I say, it's uh, it's just like new, and it's very well, very nicely rehaired this one. So, what I've got here is. Uh, I've got some isopropyl alcohol and I've got some methyl hydrate and everything you read recommends denatured alcohol and as far as I can tell denatured alcohol is simply ethanol with uh, with an additive to make it uh, not fit for human consumption so and also I find right I'm oops, pretty sure that it's not available in Canada so what a, I, I, with further reading, um, I did read where methyl hydrate could probably be substituted and isopropyl. Now, uh, um, just to uh, uh, just to let you know, I've used both on uh, on violin hair, and I've never seen any any negative effects from it. So today. We're going to use methyl hydrate, and I'll, I'll show you what technique I use for cleaning the hair. But you can do this on any bow. Once the once the hair has been used, you've rosined it and used it for a while, and it's getting a little too built up, you think, then you can give it a, a cleaning and then start over. So, word of caution, don't ever let alcohol get close to your varnish. Uh, that will destroy it. So whether either whether it's on your violin or on your uh, on your bowl. So I'm going to pour some a little bit of alcohol into this bowl, and then I'm going to just uh, coil the uh, hair in the alcohol. Very careful not to get the tip of the of the bow and the alcohol. Now the alcohol will wick, it'll wick up the uh, the hair so you have to be careful of that. And uh, just let it soak for a bit. We're going to, oh, I wish you could see this, um, It doesn't take very long for it to dissolve the rosin from the hair.
And then when you pull it out, now I need a clean cloth. When you pull the whole thing out of the alcohol, again, be very careful not to let the alcohol wick up into the frog or the tip. Now we're going to just carefully wipe that. And now we have a clean, it's like a brand new, newly haired bow here again. You can also take a, a rag that's been, that's been uh, soaked in alcohol and just take and wipe the, the hair as well. That will work. So uh, again, be careful not to let the hair touch the, the, uh, bow stick and we'll let that dry so um, I'll put a, a caveat or a, a rider on this whole thing like I say I'm not a luthier and I certainly wouldn't <laughs> I'm not recommending to use a citrus degreaser on your on your uh, instrument or your bow um, just have to be perfectly clear on that and as far as the alcohol goes, if uh, if any viewer knows where we can get what they actually uh, term as denatured alcohol, I would really be interested because I've tried and tried here in Saskatoon and I just can't find it anywhere, or at least what they call denatured alcohol. Um, I think these are pretty close. So there you have it. Um, there's a nice clean bow. I'll finish this, finish cleaning up this stick with, uh, with the W.E. Hill cleaner and it'll be good as new. I hope that was uh, at least mildly interesting. So again coming to you from Saskatoon it's Glenn Larson and I'm with or I, or I run the Prairie Fiddler in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. So happy fiddling and have a good rest of the day.